All right, so we've been we just got ourselves a Black Magic uh, ATEM Television Studio Pro HD, and we got the um, SDI cameras all set up there. You can see cameras five, six, and seven our our PTZ Optics um, cameras, and I've been banging my head against the wall watching videos. How do we get the Pro Presenter software to display on the the words on the screen, and people have talked about having to do a um, several other interfaces to try and get it connected, and trying to get um, you know a, a, another. Um, HDMI to SDI output from your um, HDMI source and all this sort of stuff. And so I just brainstormed and figured out what am I going to do here and how am I going to get this done. So I just tried the basics. I connected the HDMI from my laptop into the camera one setting of the um, of the ATEM and I have signal. I had to change it to 1080p um, 30 wh because that's what the SDI PTZ optics require us to send. So we're 1080p 30. So that was an interesting manual assignment of the resolution. Once we got that squared away, I plugged in the, the signal and it works. It's up and running. The next phase is to figure out how to get the words to come up. So I came over here to ProPresenter and we used to use Ecamm Live and Ecamm accepted the NDI input from ProPresenter, which was really slick. But Obviously, ATEMs don't accept the NDI. So what I did is I came up here and I went into uh, Edit. Nope, went over here to Screens. And I went to Configure Screens. And I set up my Screen 1 as the Blackmagic device, uh, or Designs HDMI. No problem. Then I went into Edit Looks. And I set my presentation to lower thirds. Now they've got this 16 by 9 lower thirds that already has templates and already has all sorts of stuff on it. And if we do that, then um, the presentation comes with the backgrounds. Um, I didn't really care for that so much. Uh, we'll play with that a little bit more. So I just built myself a lower thirds template. You can go into uh, that and edit it. Um, I just have simple two lines of text uh, with some drop shadow, which uh, some people like, some people don't like. Um, design the design the text however you want to, to design it. It's, it's good to go there. So um, that was that was set up like that. Good idea. Um, now I, you can see, um, if I go into preview, you can see that I've got the, um, the words, they're showing up, they're lower thirds, they're good to go. So now what? I've got the, I've got the presentation set up. It's, it's, it's connected into, um, the ATEM it's displaying. So how do we get it to set up as a lower thirds over everything? Well, watching the different upstream, downstream keys, all this sort of stuff, I went in and created a downstream key as camera one with the key source, with the pre-multiplied key is uh, black. So you don't have to have a secondary key source. Um, one thing to come back to on the Pro Presenter, when you go into Edit Looks, if your screens that you're getting from 
the service have uh, backgrounds, have uh, animations, all that sort of stuff. You can uncheck all of these, and in that, you will only get the text that is that is sent to um, uh, that will be sent to you. Because if they have a background on here, um, then the edit looks will uh, mask all of that off. Will strip all the backgrounds off, and all you'll get is the text. So then you come over here to the downstream key, set it to camera one, which is my HDMI one input. And when I come over here to program, if we go to um, downstream key one, we now have transparent words on our program. And it doesn't matter which cameras we switch to, we can go to camera three, we can go to camera seven, we can go back to camera five, doesn't matter, our words are still there because it's a downstream key. I hope this has helped somebody. It's real simple, it's real slick, and you can set it up um, with, with what you already have for your presentation software.